<laughs> These imaginary situations that you just heard about are now a reality in many countries. And there is a serious committed attempt to make them a reality in Jamaica as well. Well, that is if Jamaicans do nothing to stop it. Now, this whole process of reorganization, of turning all our concepts of right and wrong, normal and abnormal, or even legal and illegal, upside down, this whole process is being attempted in the name of human rights. No, we all agree. Every human being everywhere in the world has what we call fundamental human rights. These rights are not the gift of the United Nations. No government can give them to you. These rights are given to every human being by our creator. Some examples of these include the right to life, or the right to free speech, or the right to conscience, or the right to your religion. I guess we all will agree that the right to life is the most important of all of these because you will never hear a dead person arguing about any of the other rights. They are meaningless. Greetings, 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 greetings. Gratitude, 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 gratitude. Greetings, free people. I can only address the free people. Yeah, just the free people. Now again, here we say fundamental human rights. They say across the board, every man, woman and child on this earth have what is known as fundamental rights, which derive from the creator. And here it's being explained and with a gratitude. This is why we say every nation state have what is known as the Bill of Rights. And here on the island of Zamaica, Jamaica, we have the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom, Constitutional Amendment. Act 2011. This is our Bill of Rights. It's fundamental rights. We say you have the right to travel, meaning you have the right to move about this landmass freely and unencumbered. The specific document, the Charter of Fundamental Rights, Constitution as amended, is endorsed by the Governor General. So here we are speaking about the right to life, the right to liberty, being free, the right to happiness or the pursuant thereof. Usually that's in the form of owning property. It has nothing to do with gay rights. No. The importance of recognizing fundamental human rights really came to international attention with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in December of 1948. Why 1948? Because before this, during the Second World War, there were some horrible abuses of human rights. And the persons who signed that declaration determined that this kind of Abuse should never happen again. Within that very time period, 1948 to about 1956, that was the inception and creation of the world passport, where for the very same reasons, people choose not to conform the corporate structure as it is in its oppressive nature, where its deceptive behavior and the misleading of the people through the mass media is prevalent. 
we know what the kill hen are just experiencing all of these things. We're just getting access or gaining access to information that is alternative to the government. You know, say, induce information or most people would say propaganda via mass media only because that very media structure is controlled by a handful of individuals. So it's a gratitude for this expression, this presentation. Or sometimes when you are said to your people, they must say, so him just a talk. But I'm not the only one here. But what is a right? A right is an entitlement. It is an entitlement on the basis of which you make a claim. For example, when I say I have a right to life, my claim is that I am entitled to my life and no one can simply arbitrarily take it. Now, every time you hear someone say, I have a right, you ask yourself, is that a real right? And what entitlement are they claiming based on that right? And what demands are they going to make of me if that is a right? Now, in this presentation, you're going to hear a lot about rights. You're going to hear how some persons are using human rights to change the reality in Jamaica. But it's not the rights I spoke about earlier, not the fundamental human rights, no. It's some new rights. They are creating new rights. But these new rights are going to have serious claims on the society. New rights. If a right is not fundamental, then we can dismiss that. Because irrespective of what it is, if you choose to do whatever you choose, not the privacy and the confinement of your place or whatever it is, we don't necessarily ever know about it, so that is your right. But when you're going to impose your untidiness on the populace and bring it within our school system, bring it within our mass media system, and say, hey, it is okay, then that's where it becomes problematic, because that's your private business there. That's no fundamental right. The fundamental right is to be free from encroachment, from government interference with you being private. So if you is a little whatever you is, and you're in a year house, lock up or do your private whatever you want to do that a year private business. Keep that private. You know, bring a private into the public. And them say they have a right to move about this land. It's just that. Every man and woman have the right to move about, but you don't have the right to impose not, not, not your, your personal beliefs on anyone. I think that's what this lady is really trying to say. And this state, you can find it out there. You know what I mean? It's right out there on YouTube. But it's a very interesting breakdown of the fundamental rights and freedoms that is endowed on all man and woman, irrespective if you're a maroon, irrespective if you are a Christian, irrespective if you are a African, irrespective if you are a Hawa, American. Yeah man. All man and woman are endowed with these very fundamental rights and freedoms. But no man can create for them own little private right from with them multicolored flags and I impose these things on our land and we should say nothing about it because it is worldview. We not accept that. We truly do not accept that. However, listen to our good sister here. On you and on me. They're going to have serious claims about what we can do under the law what we can say under the law, and what we can allow our children to be taught. 
So, we talk about law. How is law linked to rights, though? Well, one of the functions of the law, if you think about it, is this. The law decides how citizens in a country operate so that they don't trample on each other's rights. Again, this is why the Charter of Fundamental Rights was established and amended. What is the purpose of the state? It's to secure these very fundamental rights and freedoms. The right to life, liberty, and to own property. That's some fundamental rights. So, if you murder someone, the law says you'll be punished because that person has a right to their life. You cannot arbitrarily take someone's life simply because they are inconvenient for you. And isn't that life that belongs to that man his property? The life is your property. The liberty is your property. You get me, the pursuit of happiness is your property. Everything belongs to you. You are the source. Everything revolves around you. It's no different from the next man or woman. You guys are the source. That is why they call it human resource. Where they start dealing with the people like chattel. And here is a document in place where it talk about law of the land. Where the parliament, nor any organ of the state, shall, this is a command, shall take no action to abrogate, to abridge, or to infringe upon these very fundamental rights and freedoms of the people, all people. But it's not now my private right. This is a right that goes straight across the board. However, we have people of other persuasion who choose to go against where you would say the Bible itself. forbid so people like that other people would consider them atheists they are them anti what a creator deal with now the fundamental right is creators given so if you're anti-creator you have no access to fundamental right it's that simple if you are doing the things them outside away you know the creator would ordain and say positive and good then you now have access to these fundamental rights it now apply to you are you anti the origin and the creation the source of this very fundamental right if you're against that source then how can you try to you sir this right when you are just against what is proper and what is lawful it is that simple for us. The fundamental rights are creator given. And if you are a creation of the creator and you choose to go against the creator, then what kind of protection would you want from that creator? There's no protection for you. So there's no rights guaranteed for you. When you're going against the very Bible, that the very laws around here, was constructed upon uh, irrespective of the crisis where we say are going we have to have good inside of the earth and good is there just like how you say the adversary to good is there so we have fundamental god-given rights and then you have man-made rights like gear rights and all of those other little man-made things where they might try infuse within the 
creator is given when they are anti creator, anti God. And their actions will always speak way much louder than whatever words they are trying to put out there. If the Bible said, it forbid a man to lay with a man and the man they shall be put to death, then who is the next man? I go against those laws. And I say, boy, it not apply. But you want to say, boy, you want protection from the very laws where you say not apply? It's garbage. This is where the confusion comes in. So we are look right through it. So we have no interest in some of you with your man-made color of law, with your colorful flag, and your colorful behavior. We don't have no interest in it. We are separate, distinct, and apart from you guys. And the entertainment industry who stay silent on these issues is because you guys sold out. But now it is obvious a whole lot of the people and that is a place on TV in front of people. They are anti-Christ, anti-God, and anti-law. Them on them create them own man-made rights to suit themselves and create confusion. So we have to be mindful when we are talk about our fundamental rights and protect it from usurpation from these ungodly people. You can never say the Bible is the word of God and you are a Christian or a man that follow God's law. And you are chosen to disobey the law what you want, an excuse talking about human rights. Human rights doesn't apply. To your private action when you go against the laws of nature, the laws that are already in place. So this is when you say it become problematic when we change the laws of the Mosai for the traditions of man. This is a prime example of it right in front of our faces. And this tape specifically is, I think it's 2014, it's a few years ago. And at this stage now, 2021, we can just look around and see the degradation of a society where our man become men. Yeah, man, and a lot of these men carry high power weaponry. So, they are normalize criminality in all its form. It's a good man where a whole mother get placed in prison, while bad man where a create disorder get released from prison. We live in a serious time. However, there's always a solution, you know. So we have to take our time and go easy. Take our time and study. Be vigilant. Yeah, man, I'm mindful of these usurpation. As a, at every step of the way, someone or something is there to be an endurance to your progress. So your fundamental rights is not a maroon thing, is not an African thing, it's not an American thing, it's not an Indian thing, it's not even an Awawa thing. It's a universal thing. It's a right where every man and woman have inherently. Yeah, man, I have to respect that right within every other man. 
And that grounds, that's how you just know, say, boy, you allow people to do what they want, do as long as they not bring no harm nor hurt to you. But when a specific group going to impose for them ideology upon the society, it becomes problematic. And for some reason, society embrace this thing. Or government embrace these actions. And then most of the people were supposed to have power. To have millions of dollars. Hey, remain silent. Back in the days when Rastaman said, Bon, Batiman, Bon, Sadamai, Bon them, man. Run them, man. Judgment them, man. You can't say these things and do these things no more. Probably even me saying these things and this day might put a block on this tape again. Well, they must say, boy, you know, you yeah, violate human rights. That's no human rights right there. That's your private rights where you try to impose as human rights. So you can usurp the creator. You can never be going against the creator. You get me? And then want protection from that very same creator where you go against. Yeah, man, you're either in or you're out. You're either righteous or you're not. Yeah, man, so don't mistake the good. For you, the bad. And don't try to mix the good with you, the bad. This is how we target our children. No, but our mind, we are chatting, we are chatting, and we just put all of these ideas in our with children's mentality in our mind through the schooling system, through the educational system. And that's a government institution, so you know this government that's foreign to us, that's supposed to be serving us, is really bringing hurt and harm to us. Where your fundamental human rights is just that. You know what I mean? And even those things people try to usurp, pollute, and corrupt. But the beauty about this earth is that truth is always supreme. Yeah, man. And if God create man in his image and likeness, then anything we are go outside of that image and likeness is anti God. It is that simple. So we have to correct ourselves in every which way. Balance ourselves. But who decided that that should be a law? Where where did that law come from? That murder should be punished. Well, no law comes out of thin air, and no country's laws arise in a vacuum no not at all every law is based on a philosophy every law is based on a set of ideas about how the world operates so if we are thinking about keeping a law or making a law or changing a law what we really need to think about is what set of ideas is that law based on and furthermore if those are the ideas that are going to operate in our society. What will our society look like? These ideas, this philosophy, it could be called a worldview. And in the next section, worldviews are what we are going to be talking about.